Good morning. Hey y'all, it's Melissa at Twin Oaks Farm Poultry in rural Southeast Ohio, USA. And this video is sharing with you the evidence of a hawk attack on a chicken. So we're actually fixing to let Mama Hen and Oakley Chick out of the meat bird production barn. And we had a scare with Mama Hen and Oakley Chick recently. We thought a hawk had got the five week old chick. And so as it turned out, the chick had made it safely away from the hawk attack. The mama hen had done a great job protecting the chick and they both survived. But we're going to let them out and then we're going to take a walk around the back of the barn and show you where the attack occurred and give you some info on it. So usually they are right at the door here. Yep, they are. Well, there's mama. Can y'all see her yet? There. And uh, Oakley chick is not too far off. There comes Oakley. <laughs> so, uh, Mama Hen is a Golden Lace Wyandotte, and Oakley Chick, we believe, is an Americana. And so, Mama Hen had been in an egg production flock, turned broody. We got some fertilized hatching eggs, and Oakley Chick was the only one that was hatched out. So, we're going to take a walk around the south side of our meat bird production building and as we're doing that I'm gonna kind of set the scene so back in this wooded area is a great place for overhead predators and predatory birds like hawks to perch and uh, view the area and so even though this is you know a little home place and the buildings here and we frequent around here walking and working in the yard uh, still we had a hawk attack right here so just to give you sort of a visual idea you know a hawk will come in and attack even in an area that is frequented by people um, even in an area that we feel is you know sort of compact and tight the general belief about a hawk is that they are not going to come into an area that is very narrow or confined at the top because their perception then is if they have to swoop down into a narrow area, it could prevent them from safely getting out of it. So um, in general, the, the belief and the practice is kind of, well, if our, our run or our pen is narrow, then we're not gonna be as overly concerned about putting chicken wire or some kind of protection on the top because those predator birds don't wanna swoop down into a narrow opening to get the chickens. But you know, in this case, um, here is very open, of course, as we can see, this is just our back yard, but like back here behind the barn, so this is the south side of the building, this is uh, the west side of the building. So back here is, is quite a narrow spot, you know, there's trees though, but we, we would assume that it's a pretty narrow spot where a hawk would not want to go in. But look here. So this is where the worst of the hawk attack happened. So back here, look at all these feathers. So um, the, they've, it's rained overnight, so now these feathers are all wet. But um, there's a lot of them. And so these are all actually feathers from the mama hen. So these would be like under feathers you know where where they're fluffier um so she was flailing with this hawk so we don't know precisely if the hawk was trying to get oakley chick and mama intervened that would be the assumption because i i would be quicker to assume that the hawk went after more oh getting my shadow more feathers there i'd be quicker to assume that the hawk went after the chick and the mama hen intervened. But we can see these are definitely the mama's feathers because that's the golden lace wine dog pattern. So at any rate, so then when we actually saw the hawk attack, more of her feathers, when we actually saw the hawk attack, the hawk was on mama hen here at the south side of this building. And we approached um, coming toward the building and the hawk was on the mama hen, the golden lace Wyandotte, and we, she was fighting it. We intervened and shoot it away and the hawk took off and swooped a couple of loops up here around these trees and then headed actually toward the north. And we don't know where it went at that point, but 
back there is a narrow enough compact area we we had always kind of questioned maybe a hawk would not fly in there well it turns out a hawk would and that hawk was very powerful so what must have turned out with mama hen and oakley chick was that oakley chick must have hidden or mama hen got oakley chick out of the line of the hawk's attack and somehow intervened and so then the hawk went after mama hen but fortunately they both were fine because I was mortified. I said, oh no, how are we going to tell our viewers on Twin Oaks Farm Poultry on YouTube that Oakley Chick has been attacked by a hawk? I was just devastated. But it, we didn't see Oakley Chick at first when we found the hawk attacking Mama Hen. And we decided best to, to go away, let Mama Hen settle down, and come check again in an hour and just keep an eye out, you know, from, from a distance. And so we came back about an hour later to... Uh, close up the barn and, and hoping we'd find Oakley Chick and we did. So Mama Hen had Oakley Chick back in the barn at that point. And I will add that the hawk attack was about an hour before dusk. And that is, you know, that's a tendency, the bookends of the day. So like early in the morning, if you have chickens you let out, probably best to wait, if you can, to wait until actually daylight, a little, little bit after daylight when it's good and bright before you let them out. And then in the evening, if you coop them back up, try to get them in, not at dusk, but before dusk, you know, an hour, maybe an hour or two before dusk so that they're in. Because those are times of day that those predator birds are, are gonna be scanning and looking for their meal. So thanks for joining us. Join us again, and we hope you have a great week. God bless you. Please subscribe to Twin Oaks Farm Poultry on YouTube.